All right, guys. Well, in case you missed the launch upload, it's true. The dual giveaway is live right now with the Power Wagon Ultimate Adventure setup and the ZR1. Our last winner, Philip, couldn't take the car for health reasons. He took the cash instead. And financially, for me, the only thing that made sense was to throw the car in. But because it was a last minute thing, it's a very, very short duel. It ends on August the 6th. So if you have if you have not entered yet, you got to enter right now to win the Power Wagon Ultimate Adventure setup. You get the truck, everything in the truck, the trailer, the rifle and 10 grand, and you're also getting entered to win my 1000 horsepower ZR1 plus 10 grand with the car as well. You get entered for both automatically and right now it's 10x and we will not be doing a bigger multiplier than 10 for the duel. Every $1 spent on the website, we got all kinds of really cool new stuff on there for you and despite the ceiling Everyone is working and orders are going out. Everything should be in stock. Every $1 spent gets you 10 entries for both, 10 for that one and 10 for that one. So again, hit that link down below, guys. Good luck and get in before time is up. All right, guys, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you are having a great day. Uh, this is going to be a fun one. I was recently inspired by a little drive in a Tesla Plaid and it was insane. It's been like six months since I rode in one and you forget just how freaking wild those cars are. And I don't like EVs, but I have to say it is fun. Impromptu ride here while the car is getting done. We're taking the Tesla Plaid out. I don't know how to unlock it, dude. There's no button. I don't know how to unlock it. How do you unlock it? I don't know. Tap the car. Try that. Oh. Have you driven? Have you been to one of these? No. no just Dude. take it easy, all right? Look You're at the good. yoke, beef. I, I slipped so many times. Do you know how to put it in gear? Uh, yeah. yeah. You slide it. You haven't driven one yet? No. You haven't rode in one yet? No. Dude, you're in for a shock. Well, now there are like, it has to be full, yeah, I like saw race mode and all that. Um, pedals and steering. Drag strip, okay. use drag strip mode. Just all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna floor it? Yes. You ready? Yeah. There's a car coming. Let's just wait, hold the maybe. wheel straight. You don't have to stop. You can just. I'm just concerned. Now you're making me think I'm no, going to No, it's like four wheel drive. Oh. Oh. Ah, no, it's oh, so fast. Shit. It's so oh, fast. Oh, Isn't that weird? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yep. Holy <laughs> Dude. Dude. How does it, anybody not want this? It no. is, I know. It's because it does get old after a little bit, and then you have like nothing else fun. <laughs> like there's no sound, and there's no, but it oh. is the first few times you do it, it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> mm, look at that. Only in P. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it like makes you sick. Yeah. Doing I'm, that like four times. Yeah, a little bit in my I'm stomach. getting a little queasy. I can, dude, I can only imagine my fat just like. <laughs> that is beyond roller coaster. It is. This is fast. Can you even imagine the Remock Nibera? Dude. I don't even, I can't this even is comprehend too much. it. Yeah. This is too much. Like the Remock is like twice as fast. As really? This. Yeah, it, it's insane. Real quick, before we get into the Tesla Plaid stuff. Now, if you're wondering how a Tesla ties into a C8Z, if the title and thumbnail hasn't already given it away, you're going to find out really soon. But let's look at these wheels one more time. I love them. Now the feedback from you guys was, I would say about 80, 20, 80% positive, 20% negative. And some of the negative, I agree, the back wheel is in a little bit too far. And I have the fix for that, a 10 millimeter spacer. I think that will bring it out just a bit. Now, again, we can't go totally flush with the top because if the top is flush, the bottom will be out really far and that will look dumb. But I think the 10 mil will bring it out just a bit and uh, it might just be perfect. But I love them. Some people just flat out hated them, but you know what, it's my car and I like them, that's all that counts, right? But it will look even better once I lower the car and again, once we get these on the back, which I might do today, uh, we'll see if we have time because today isn't really meant to be a wheel day or is it? Not a wheel day or is it? Because we may or may not be installing this little beauty on the car. I had this built like a month ago and I'm pumped about it, but I guess you really can't call it a wheel, can you? It's like a wheel, but not, I mean, not a circle. Whatever you wanna call it, I'm excited to get it on 
and uh, I just hope the install goes well, and then I hope I don't crash it once it's on the car. Let's go ahead and start the install here. Step one will be disconnecting the battery, but there is one problem already, and I'll see if you can notice what that problem is here with both wheels. Now this one's a lot cooler, it's got the carbon, whereas mine does not, so I love that, but my wheel in the car has a heated wheel button, this one does not. I totally forgot when I built this that that was even a thing that I would have to worry about. Now, I don't care, to be clear. I don't, it's summer anyway. I don't care if the, if the wheel is heated, but I just don't want an error message or anything on the dash, and I hope the plug is the same. If it is, we're good to go. If not, we'll have to transfer everything from that wheel onto this one, and that's going to suck. Either way, the yoke is going on. It's just a matter of how much work I'm going to have to do. So step one, I'm gonna be disconnect the battery, like I said, and you have to pop off all these plastic pieces here to do that. Not too difficult. If you were someone who's hoping for an old school street speed video, just installing a part here in the garage, well, this is the upload for you, isn't it? And then there's two little panels behind the paddles, one, I mean, one on each side that you gotta pop out. And then there's a 10 millimeter behind there. Oh, okay, that wasn't too bad. Pretty easy, so far. So far, so good. The airbag is already about loose, ready to come off here after you take the two screws out. This one's not out quite yet, but it's almost there. And then that should release the airbag. Now, hopefully it doesn't go off. And people talk about that like it's a joke, which it is, because I don't know why it ever would, but it's still kind of scary because you're, you're working with like an explosive device. Um, okay, so luckily it looks like all the plugs are the same. We just won't have function of the heated wheel. And as long as it doesn't have a warning light or anything, I won't care. So we're good on that. And then we gotta take these little tabs out for the airbag, but we're, we're getting there. This is a little tedious now. Oh, I almost got it. It's like performing a surgery. Oh, should move the camera so you guys can see what's going on here. Oh, we got it. Literally, like, it's a cross between brain surgery and using chopsticks. You can see, hold on. So we're trying to pry up each one of these little orange tabs at the same time. So if you have like a really tiny screwdriver, it actually helps to have like two small ones. Ha, ah, got it. All right, and there you go, C806 airbag is out. And uh, now we can move on to taking out this last plug and then taking off the actual wheel. So far, again, so far so good here. This is not difficult at all. The connector's giving me problems here, I'll be honest. This is, uh... okay, there we go, got that out finally. Jeez, that was, that was a little bit difficult. And uh, now I think we're ready for the actual wheel to come off, the main bolt right there. That's uh, pretty tight. Oh, man. Woo, okay. <laughs> that requires a lot of force to get that off. Wow. That's good though, I mean, you don't want your wheel flying off. Oh boy, we are ready for a little test fit here. And uh, should be good. <laughs> oh my God, it looks insane. It actually looks, it, I mean, it looks really, really cool. You have a full view of the screen now. Um, it, I mean, from the driver's point of view, it looks amazing. Look at this. Looks wise, it's freaking epic. I mean, it looks like a fighter jet. It's That is definitely sick. Let's get it installed and then, uh, you know, see what it's like. So basically install, I don't have to show everything. I don't think it's the reverse of all that we already did, but wow, that does look, it looks insane. And the carbon looks really good too. Well, all right guys, moment of truth. If I did everything right, we should fire up with no lights or you know, no warning lights, no airbag lights. Everything should be fine. We're about to find out. Come on. Okay. We're good. 
We're good. No lights. No lights. We're good. Oh my god. <laughs> I will say one thing right off the bat, it, I don't know why, like you wouldn't think it would make that big of a difference, but it does. Like the, the whole inside of the car feels different and uh, like very cool. Now I'm sure I'll get used to it, but I mean, the fact that you can see the whole screen, like it, it looks really different and really cool. This is actually like more exciting than I thought. Like I, I can't wait to drive it. Let me put on the POV hat and I'll give you guys a POV drive. I think the first ever, the world's first C8 with a yoke. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, to be honest, let me be honest with you here. If you look at the mileage of the car now versus when I installed the wheel, clearly I've been driving it a little bit. And here's why, all right, just being honest. I drove, I wanted to drive it at least one time because I was like, well, look, if, if something is horribly wrong, you know, I don't, want, I don't want to have to edit that out or like worry about filming it at the time. So I took it on a test drive. What happened was I loved it right away and I kept driving it. Then it rained, so I drove it like all that day and then like another day. Now here I am filming the next part today, but I really truly love it. And let me be honest again, I, was more or less doing this for a video, right? I thought it would be fun to do, show you guys something different. You know, I haven't, I haven't seen one done on a Corvette or really many cars at all. Like I've seen a few out there, but you know, I thought it'd be different, something cool to show you guys. What I didn't think though, is that I would actually really like it and I do. And I don't know why, you know, like it's not that di different, but somehow it makes you feel like you're driving something really cool. It's just really fun. And again, I don't know why, it's only removing parts of the wheel, but it just feels more special. And what surprised me a lot was that how quickly it feels normal. Like I was genuinely concerned. I was like, man, I'm gonna reach for the wheel or something and I'm gonna like miss and I'm gonna crash, but that hasn't happened once. <laughs> and uh, you know, it, it sounds like a race car, might as well have a race car wheel, right? Or whatever you call it, not really a wheel, but I guess a steering wheel. And uh, it's just a ton of fun. I really enjoy it. It makes you feel like you're driving something a little bit more special. I'll show you up here uh, for doing slow speed maneuvering, like in a parking lot or whatever, you just put your hand up here. It's actually really cool. The downshifts, I can't wait to make this car louder, but just go like this. You know, it's really like not abnormal at all. It's <laughs> it's super cool. You can turn like this, you know, or just swing it around like that in a parking lot. It's very cool. And again, totally normal. And that was the part that surprised me the most. So honestly, if you're thinking about doing this, if you think it looks cool, go. <laughs> I would say go for it. It's fun and it, it when you're driving it hard it feels normal like this is the part of the wheel you're using anyway um, so actually believe it or not I don't think there are any downsides it looks cool it's different it's a conversation starter multiple people have seen it <laughs> in the car and uh, they're like wow is that how they make the wheels and I'm like no but you can put one on there that's it quick driving review here um, can't wait to make the car louder. Loving the car. Really fun little build so far. I say build, but you know what I mean. Nothing crazy. Um, however, I do have some other really neat mods coming. But yeah, hope you like it. Let me give you one more, one more good run here. Traction off. See if she hooks. I'm sure she will. It's hot out. And go. <laughs> such a good car. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you drive it? Do you like it? I think it looks incredible. And certainly, once again, it does get the conversation going. If you want to start a conversation at a gas station or a car show, put this on your car. You'll make a lot of friends. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, give this upload a big thumbs up. Take care and have a great night, guys. I wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough here. Sorry, I know the lighting is really bad. The ceiling is bad. Everything is a mess except for the vehicles. They're, they're looking good. And uh, well, that's really the most important thing, right? They're all cleaned up, 
perfect. Um, but I wanted to show you pretty much everything on the site, just about all of it is in stock, tons of shirts. Uh, we also have some really neat like survival gear now. We got a, a little blowgun thing, we've got that. Uh, all kinds of really cool new stuff that we're adding all the time. Pop sockets, keychains, air fresheners, um, dog equipment, you know, harnesses, collars, um, that kind of stuff, key tags. We have our new survival gear here, like we have uh, waterproof fire starters. Those are really awesome that go with the power wagon. So if you haven't checked out the site in a while, make sure you do. Even if you already got something you like, you might find something else you like. And of course it comes with the chance to take home the power wagon, ultimate adventure setup or the ZR1 or both if you're really lucky. So go ahead, check it out guys. Hope you find something you like, I think you will. And good luck on winning these two vehicles. Speaker box loud, hitting that stuff till you hearing that sound.